Hey, Christine. Hey, Jamie. Hey, Lenore. How's everybody this Friday night? It's Friday, it's Friday. Sally, I have a drink too. We ate pizza today. No alcohol for me today. Actually, I need alcohol. I should get a beer. Hey, Melissa. Happy Friday. Cheers. I think I'm going to get a beer. Because everybody has a drink and now, like, I don't drink anymore? What kind of example I'm setting here? What's up, Chica? Jamie, aren't you in Disney? Hey, Sandra, a long time no see, girl. Hey, Missy. Hi, Linda. Guys, it's freezing today. Like, Freezing. You're drinking, Jamie. I know you are. No, the other Jamie. I was talking to the other Jamie. She's in, I thought she was in Disney. For Florida, we went out today and it was so windy. It was 63 degrees. Oh, I can't do the cold anymore. It's not cold. It's freezing, okay? <laughs> I have my sweaters on, my my um, sweatpants. It, it was cold. I'm like, what the hell? I live in Pennsylvania for 20 something years and I can't, I can't take the cold now. Fourteen Channon? Oh my God, what the hell are you doing in Ohio? You got your cops? I, I hope you're very, very happy with it. Drink. <laughs> drink, my soda is almost done, I got water. It's so cold, I don't wanna drink beer. Beer, not beard. Wow, well, this is what we're doing tonight. I hope it comes out. Eight, holy shoot, can do eight. Nope, nope, nope. Be right back, guys. I'll be right back. I lost my, what the hell am I gonna do with it?
Hey, Crystal. Hey, Amanda. <laughs> I can sneak a peek. Ah! What happened, Cindy? Hey, baby. Okay, so we're gonna do this cup tonight. Okay, and I am a little north of you. Um, I did put a um a little octopus here, but my wave went up and kind of cover it, so I think I drowned him. <laughs> but it looks kind of cute, like he's trying to hold on to it. Hi, Janet. Never too cold for a beer. I am freezing. Freezing, freezing, freezing. Okay, so you guys are ready? Boy, if you guys are ready, I'm not. I gotta get things prepped. <laughs> Where you are, Cindy? 98 degrees? I don't I don't like hot weather. It's always hot in Florida. But holy shoot, man. It, it is cold today. I am not happy. Hi, Melody. You're on time. That's my daughter's name, Melanie. Why can't you figure out, Janice? This is a very simple cup, guys. Very simple. I might have to walk out for a minute because I need to seal my cup, but you know, You'll see how easy it is. Hi, Sandy. Okay, so we are ready, guys, right? I'm gonna get my cup. Hi, Missy, Misty. I'm trying to see if these cups are cured so I could remove them from the turner. I don't wanna mess it up. Yeah, it's cured. Look at this cup, guys. Holy moly, I'm in love with this cup. It's gorgeous. Hey, Michelle. And I made another card in a cup. I haven't seen a live from you in a while, so I'm ready. Hey, Cindy, I'm glad you're here, Mom. All right, so we're gonna start. I'm gonna put the camera down so you guys see what I'm doing. Um, I'm not gonna put gloves yet. So, what am I doing? Okay. Thank you, Misty. Let me put the camera down, guys. Give me a minute. It's gorgeous. Those are for orders. I only use Promarine. I tried KS Resin and I didn't like it. So I went back to Promarine. It is. I, I'm telling you, they say don't change anything if you're happy with it. I'm very happy with Promarine. I've been using it for a year. And, you know, it's really, I love it. I have no problem with it. And I leave my, I know I'm not supposed to, but I leave my, I forget my, um, my um, cup.
cups in the car all the time and in Florida it's usually really hot. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna find this tape. They have two sizes, they have the thick one and they have the thinner one. It's your choice. Um, if you wanna do them bigger, you use the bigger um, size. Here it is. But I'm gonna use this. I am affiliated with ProMarine, so the link is in the group if you guys don't mind. I would really appreciate it. Yes, I, I warm it up really good and I never have a problem with bubbles or anything. So I'm going to cut a couple of them and see how many I need. They don't have to be the same size. So I'm going to cut a couple and have them ready. Like I said, you can make one smaller, one bigger. It doesn't matter what size you're using. Oops. I like to make one uh, bigger than the other ones. Longer, I would say. Hey, Corny. So since I don't know how many I'm gonna use, I'm gonna have some prep here. I'm so glad to see so many of you here hanging out tonight. I mean, we have like 4,000 members and we don't get a lot of people live. So if you're new, say hi. And welcome to our angel crew. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna start with this. Okay, so here's my cup. Howdy. Hi, Claudia. Hi, Glendor. Okay, so the first tape, I'm gonna put it here. I'm not gonna put it to the rim. I'm gonna leave like a little space between the rim and the tape. Make sure the tape is down good. I mean, I'll explain to you later. It doesn't matter how good it goes down. They, it sips through, so. Okay, so I'm gonna leave a space between this one and this one. This is what's gonna mark those little darker spots. I do take my time putting the tape because they don't, it doesn't need to be perfect, but if I could get it perfect. So I try to make sure I have the same space from here to here and here to here. So it's not crooked. It doesn't have to be perfect, but that's just me. So we're gonna go all around and do the same thing. Try to go, you know, like figure out like how, how big is here. You don't wanna do like, well, me. I don't, I, I like to do everything kind of similar. But like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just put your tape on and move on. Once you put all the ink and all this stuff, honestly, this tape, is a piece of crap. But if we use the um, the electrical tape, I'm afraid I will have some like the glue. You're going to tape your hair to the tumbler. Girl, my hair is everywhere. I just showered and I didn't want to cut it, you know, I didn't want to pick it up, but I have a small spot here, a small space here, so I'm going to cut this down. Another thing, when I cut, I make sure this is straight so it doesn't look weird when I put the one next to it.
Um, Pronarin does have a smell to it. Um, when I'm mixing, this is what I do. When I'm mixing, I mix, I mix it away from my face. And I, I think that the smell is more noticeable. I have KS and I smell KS too. So they all have a smell to it, but I notice that when you, um, when you use your torch or your, or your heat gun, it smells stronger. So I always put my face away from, I always put my face away. And um, yesterday night I was doing that, um, this tumbler, you know, to show you guys what I was gonna do today. Oh, I think I cut this on way too much because I was talking to you guys. Voila. Anyway, so I didn't realize I got a little bit of epoxy on my finger. And when I woke up today, my, eye, <laughs> my eyelid was swollen. I'm like, ooh. Yeah, it does have an odor to it. But like I said, I smell that in, pro, in, uh, in KS2, it's less, but I smell that. But the amount of bubbles I got, I was like, I was ready to give up, guys, honestly. I heard a lot of people with um, complaining about bubbles with RS and 2. Like I said, I wanted it to try different, different, um, different um, epoxy but primering is working for me this is not coming out the way i want it but i don't care it doesn't have to be perfect guys so let's just move on to the next row it's gonna be too thin uh, who cares it doesn't matter okay so when you go to this uh Okay, so we are going to, when we start with the second row, we're gonna put it right here, like, you know, in half and half. Again, making sure the space that you live in between the two lines are kind of similar so it doesn't look that crooked. Hi, Pam. Then we're gonna go and put another one. I don't like this here, so I might just cut. No, because this is a big tape. Uh, so once again, lift the space between one and the other one. You know, I tried that last night, but I had so much problem because of the curve of the cup. Have you done it? Have you done it on a curve? On a, I just did it, I, I went with the, with the skinny, it was easier. <laughs> Kimberly. I tried to stay away from knife. <laughs> I'm a, the other day, oh my God, the other day I started burning candles and that shit went on fire. And all of a sudden I hear my husband screaming. <laughs> Just for a candle, guys. My house was on fire. The little candle dispenser got on fire. I don't know why. I have never that happened to me. Okay, you see this tape doesn't take good, but it doesn't matter because we'll work, we'll walk around it. And then when you do the third line, you're gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna do three because I like to have a lot of wave on mine, like the ocean part. So 
So you see here, I started in the middle. Like I have half here and half here. I think the skinnies are easier, honestly. You don't have to worry about stuff. Like, you see, this one is not gonna be perfect because of the curve of the cup, but let me fix this here. This is not level. It's just time consuming to put the tape and if you're like really picky, like me, you try to get it perfect, but when you're making cup, perfection can be stressful. Ouch. Let me see how big is the space here. We're gonna put a big one here. This tape sucks. Sucks! See, it doesn't even Stay down the way I want it. Okay. Oh my God, freehand it? Bless your heart. I can't freehand the crap. I cut it too small. I mean, I did it on the skinny and it was so much easier. I didn't have to worry about anything. But of course, today I had to grab, I don't have a lot of skinnies. Hey Sandra. Once we put the tape, the rest is like a piece of cake. Piece of cake. Oh my God, what am I doing? I can't even cut straight. You could do another row if you want. I'm not gonna do an another row because I like to see my water and wave high. So, oh, that's cool. That was my first one. I'm not a pro, okay? So, no judging here. I'm making this, Michelle. Okay, so what I did with this cup, I like the sherry oak look. So I mix, if I could read the, no, the name on this thing, I have no clue. Well, the darker red, I don't have the name because it's all ink everywhere. Let me put my gloves on. Hey, Mama. Hey, Rhonda. So I think it's cranberry, the darker red. So I mix cranberry with tea wood. Cause I like the uh, sherry oak look. Oh, uh, which one is this one? This is ginger. Cut 
Carmel. Where is tea wood? I didn't bring tea wood. Well, I'm gonna have to use ginger because I didn't bring tea wood. I thought I did. Give me a minute. Let me see if I could find tea wood because that's what I used yesterday and I like the color. See, I'm not that messy, I found it right away. Hi, Misty. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mix the same thing. I'm gonna mix tea wood with cranberry. And it's gonna give me that, um, like, sherry oak look that I like. Um, I'm using a dabber. Because when I put it on a plate, it dries way too much, so I waste my ink. And now I'm all about saving, not wasting. So, of course, I started at the bottom. You start wherever you want. I'm a mess. I never follow any rules. Hey, mommy. So it gives it that red look, and I love, love sherry oak. But this tape is lifting. So if it does seep through, don't worry about it. We could fix that. Everything is fixable. All my tape is lifting. It's a piece of crap. What? Is this gonna be a, like, a messy tutorial? All my tapes are made, uh, get standing, like, oh, uh, peeling off. What the hell? It's okay, I'm gonna fix it later. And I show you what I do. <laughs> Everybody tells me the same thing. Everything in my dining room is white. I usually don't work with inks in my dining room. It's just for the tutorial. You see, all my, all my tape, I don't know if because it's old, all my tape is lifting. What's going on? When I take this tape, I'm gonna have a mess, but everything is fixable. Don't worry about it. We don't have to do this perfect. Yeah, I love white. <laughs> My God. And I'm so messy when I'm working. I am too, Kelly. I am very messy. You know what? Like, dude, I'm a disaster. Look at this. These tapes are completely off. <laughs> like, what? Why? Can you see that? They're all coming off. What a piece of crap. But we're going to be using, we are going to be using whatever sips through. So don't you worry. It's funny because this is happening because I'm doing a freaking tutorial. Cause I did this shit yesterday with the same tape, and you think and you think it lifted? Not a bit. Piece of crap. Piece of crap. It doesn't pay to be cheap, okay? JJ, I'm working on this cup right here. If this tape lets me. 
But like I said, everything is fixable, so don't stress out. Girl, I glitter everywhere. My house, it's glitter everywhere. Every time I'm, I'm doing an order, you should see the amount of glitter in my floor. And then I'm running, picking everything up before my husband gets home. Hey Jody, have fun mama. Now we're gonna have a lot of ink under this tape, of course, because this piece of crap lifted. But I think even if, you, if it doesn't lift, it goes under the tape. But it's fixable. It's fixable. I like the red color. You use whatever color you like. I love tea wood by itself. So, like I said, I'm using a dabber because when you put it, when you put the alcohol ink on the on the plate, it dries so freaking fast. You get no time to do anything. And I'm just going over it, even though it's sipping through under the tape, I don't care. I want, um, I want dark. I want dark, 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 dark. I, I was afraid to use electrical tape because when you remove electrical tape, it can leave a little glue behind. And when you put epoxy, you could see everything on the epoxy. Every little boo-boo, every little mistake. But like I said, I'm not worried because I'm gonna use a light color for the inside. My husband calls me a glitter whore. Can you believe that? I'm a glitter whore. You guys used to call me the bling bling queen. My husband calls me the glitter whore. So, I don't know how important it is to do this bottom part, but I am doing it too. I'm loving this red on this thing. Have you used electrical tape to do it? Sandra? My God, you, pro you, probably, you guys probably saying, look at this girl, she's having a mess. She's a hot mess express. Oh, wait, this is the way it looked yesterday when I was doing the other one. I was freaking out. But it worked for me. So right now, I'm going to close tea wood and cranberry. And you're going to see the mess I have under this freaking tape. Look at this shit. But we'll fix that. Don't you worry. My tape lifted so bad. <gasps> oh, my God. I need to take the glove off. Oh. And do you use electrical tape? Look at this mess. But don't worry, don't worry. Be happy. I had this mess yesterday. So I don't mind. It shouldn't look this messy, guys. <laughs> but all my tape lifted. So when you do it, if your tape is in place, it's not gonna be a disaster like mine. But like I said, I'm not worried because I'm using that color 
to mix with the light one that I'm gonna use Okay, so this is what I have so far. It shouldn't look like this. So, hi, my, uh, Michelle. It shouldn't look like this, but my tape lifted. So, I'm really sorry about that. But I'm gonna fix it. So now I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna use Latte. And then I'm gonna use that ink. What? That ink got sit through, and I'm gonna mix it with latte. So it will give me another color. I might change latte, I don't know. I can't believe my ink sipped through so much because of my stupid tape. So if you make this mess that I made, don't you worry. I'm gonna show you now how it looks. See, latte is very light. It's a very light color and I really don't like it. So what I do, I wasn't planning on my ink to sit through so much, but I wasn't being careful because I wanted some, um, some ink going under my tape, if you get my meaning, because that ink I'm gonna use to mix the two colors together and it will give me a darker, a darker, Instead of um, having that light latte, you see? Oh wait, only look at this one. Hi Pamela. So latte is very light. So when I mix it with the, with the cranberry and tea wood, it gives me this color. And that's what I wanted. So I wasn't planning on my um, tape on lifting. But like I said, not worry about it because that color is gonna help me come up with a different wood color. So I'm not sealing, I don't know if you realize, I did not seal my darker color because I want the paint to be able to move the ink. You know when you make a, an ink cup the the you put one color in the bottom and when you put some uh, another color in the top it cannot change it takes over so that's what i'm trying to do here so i didn't want to seal it so i could use whatever ink that seep through if you get my minute I don't seal it. I don't seal it. Like I said, I don't seal it because I want this paint that that sit through my tape. I want to use that that color to make me a new color. If I seal it, I might not be able to move the ink, and I want I want to use that ink that went through my tape to uh, give me a new wood color because I have a couple of uh, a couple of ink but I don't have an ink that I really really so when you're doing this you gotta be careful you don't go over the line I did a little bit here So, like I said, I don't seal mine, so I could use that ink that sit through and make my own color. Like I mix a cranberry with the tea wood. So when I get ginger, ginger is a, honestly, I don't like that color. I don't like ginger, so I hardly use it. 
but I want to use it here because since I have a dark red in the bottom, it's going to make me a really nice brown looking color. So I just try not to touch whatever line I have. So you're going to get different color wood on your tumbler. I mean, I'm not saying this is the right way. This is the way I did it. And I like the color that came out with. So again, I use ginger because it's a light color and I will mix it with this color. I'm making sure I'm not touching the line so I don't screw it up. Like I said, I wasn't planning on my tape lifting, but if you tape lift, don't worry about it. Your, your tumbler is not messed up because once you put the ink on the top, it will pick up the one on the bottom. Well, the one I made, it was my first one. And I think I did pretty good. And it was as messy as this one. But when you do a tutorial, everything tries to get screwed up, you know? Like, dude, I make a cup so easy when I'm alone and when I do a tutorial, I struggle. Like, I think it's because I'm not a good teacher. <laughs> so like I said, I'm being careful. I'm not touching my lines. Unless I need to fix the line a little bit because the ink went through it. I don't know, every time I do a tutorial, something freaking happens. Like, dude, give me a break. No, babe. I'm the crazy lady talking to myself. And sometimes I leave it like really dark here to. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Robin. I try, but you know, like I get frustrated sometimes because I'm trying to teach you something that I did without any problems. And here I am, come live. And I ruined the cup. This one is not ruined though. I tell you, we will fix this shit. Drink. Oh my God, your angels are not drinking. I think I'm gonna get up for a beer. Maybe I need a beer so this cup comes out nice. I like the dark wood um, look. If you don't like the uh, the dark wood look, 
hey, do whatever color you like. I'm going with my taste because so far, every time I do my taste, I sell all my cups without no problema. Another thing you could do, and this is a tip in case you want it. If you don't want it, you're gonna listen to it anyway. <laughs> Hi, Deborah. If you finish this cup and you seal it right away, let's say you don't like how dark it came out. I like it, so I'm not gonna do it. I like my dark colors. So, but if you don't like it, you go and when you finish, you go to your garage or wherever you sell your tumblers and spray slightly the, the clear coat and it will lighten up your color. And this is for whoever doesn't like light colors. I'm happy with these colors. Some of them are darker than the other ones, but I don't care. Like I said, it's not supposed to look this messy when you take the tape, but my tape didn't want to work with me. I think it's because of the freaking cold weather. I don't know. Because I did it yesterday and it did sit through no matter what, it go, it's gonna sit through, but not as bad. And the reason I go like this is because I want to give it some like life to the wood. If when you're wiping, you like something that is happening, just blow on it. You know, blowing helps everything, <laughs> every occasion. This color is ginger, but it's mixed with the color that sip through. So it gives you like a um, darker color, and that's what I was going for. I wanted it to sip through a little bit, not this much, but my tape didn't want to cooperate with me. Stupid tape. Tupid, tupid, tupid. If you don't want to mix your colors like I am doing, you seal your first step. If you want to come up with a different wood color that you don't have, that you like, do not seal. Just make sure you don't touch the lines that you made on your first step. Don't seal and use whatever see through to um to create a new color i hope you guys understand what i'm trying to say If you have one part that came a little too dark, you could wipe it off a little bit with your brush. Okay, so, so far this is what I have. And I'm happy with that color. Like I said, if you make in your cup and it comes out too dark, if you go seal it, it will lighten up a little bit. But it's gonna light it's gonna light this up too, and I don't want that, so I'm not gonna do it. 
What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to dry it a little bit so I could seal it and we could go on the second step. So I'm going to dry it a little bit so I could... Um, So I could seal it because if I don't dry my ink, the color is going to change. So I'm going to dry my ink first, then I'm going to seal it so we could go to the second step. I am sorry if it looks, if it looked messy. I wasn't planning on my freaking tape not to work, but everything is fixable, guys. So don't get discouraged. If you make a mess, you can fix it. Another thing, you could do these little dots if you want to. I'm not going to do it on this cup. No, I'm going to get my beer because now I'm hot. So make sure your ink is completely dry before you seal this cup. So I'm drying my ink and then I'm gonna go into my garage, seal it and come back and dry the sealer and then we can keep working with the third step. Oh, I did it with the alcohol ink, that's a good idea. Should I do the little dots or not? I think I'm gonna leave it like this. I really like the dark color that I use for the lines. They're not perfect, but... I'll be right back. I'm gonna seal it and then I'm gonna come back to dry the sealer and then we'll do the other step. Yeah, Marco! Marco, let's try the sealer. Can you bring mommy a beer, please? I love you. My son loves me so much. completely dry because I don't want to mess it up. I don't know if you guys realize I put a little octopus on my cup and he drowned. He drowned. So I'm going to bring you guys up again until I mix my epoxy. Thank you. I love you too, Bobby. So, cheers guys, cheers. Ooh, where do I get this glitter from? I 
I'm not even working with glitter. I have glitter all over my hands. Actually, did you just say that my brother? Okay, so I'm gonna mix my epoxy, so that's why I brought you guys up. So we could chit chat for a little bit. Don't you guys get bored? Oh my god, Yamarco! He's gonna kill me. Titico! I forgot to bring something to mix my epoxy. He's going to kill me. Ya Marco! Okay. I'm guessing I have to go get it. I did call you. I'll go get it because he's going to kill me. I'm so sorry. I always think I'm ready and I'm never ready. Completely ready. So I usually warm up my epoxy, but I forgot. So I'm gonna mix this here and wish for the best. Hopefully by the time I, I mix, I finish mixing this thing, my cup is dry enough so we can move along. So far so good guys. Like I said, I'm not the best teacher, but I'm trying my best. It was a mess. It was a mess. I seen people making it with micas, but I don't use micas a lot, so. I actually prefer alcohol inks. For some reason, when I work with Michael's, I get a lot of bubbles. I have to wear a mask to use. I wear a, a mask. I bought a mask, the full, uh, full face mask. Girl, I can't see without my glasses. So I haven't been able to use it. I do wear a mask. I'm working in here and showing you this thing, so I'm not wearing one. But you definitely should wear gloves and a mask. So not because I'm not wearing it, you shouldn't. When I work, I work in my garage and my garage is uh, fully open. It's not a hard cup to make. Uh, my tape didn't want to work with me. Piece of shit. <laughs> but you know, like I said, you know, even though the, the ink sit through, I. It's going to sit through no matter what. But um, at least, you know, you come up when it sits through and you use another color for the middle, you make your own color because you're mixing the two colors together. So that's what I like and that's what I did yesterday with the one I, I showed you. Drink. Did I curse? I didn't realize I, I cursed. Did I curse? You're saying drink. I didn't curse. You just want to drink. I think I should move my two cups out of here. Because inks go everywhere. Do you guys have any questions? I'm mixing my epoxy, guys, so give me a minute. Uh, don't forget that we're still doing the uh, Strucker giveaway. Um, with every $20 purchase, you get a chance to win the stroker i couldn't do it for free guys because you know to send that monster is like almost 17 dollars you call the tape a name i love it <laughs> i don't 
realize when I curse anymore. Oh my God, I'm horrible. I think you're just making it up. So I make sure, I don't know why people say three to four minutes. I mix my epoxy as long as I think I need to mix it until it's completely clear. <laughs> Karen, you, you're supposed to be on my side, okay? You have to defend me, not agree with the other angels. It was, it was a piece of crap. It lifted everywhere. Dude, I was like, oh my God. So like I said, I mix my epoxy until I'm fully see everything completely clear. Now that it's mixed, Nope, nope, and it's a little mixing. You didn't hear anything, Misha? <laughs> okay, guys, it's already mixed. So I am going to move this to the side. Put gloves on again. I go through gloves like there's no tomorrow. Ew. I don't know why, my hands is all sticky already. Okay, so my ink is dry. Like I said, I don't know if you realize, I put an octopus here, but he drowned. But it's still, I think it still looks cute, like, you know, so I'm gonna try to do the same thing and see if I could keep my ink away from there. If not, it doesn't matter. So this one is a little bigger because it's a bigger cup. So you could look a spot that you didn't like and place it there. Don't you get screwed up, my friend. Hi, Caitlin. We're gonna put ours right here. I'm gonna try not to press it too hard because of the tape. I don't want my ink to come off. Once I pull the tape, then I press it down. And we have him here. I cut the legs in the bottom because they're not gonna show anyway. Hi, Amy. I gotta fix this leg, guys. Give me a minute. There you go, there you go. Don't wrinkle, don't wrinkle, I'll cut you off. Okay, so if you are putting one, you have to make sure it's done right. Because if not, you ain't gonna be happy. Okay, show time. Let me take my two cups out of here because I don't want my inks to ruin my cups and that's for an order. Okay guys, I'll bring you down again. And what we're gonna do is, let me torch it for a little bubble. 
I'm gonna get another cup. I'm just gonna mix a little bit of white so I could do my wave. The rest is gonna be for my cup. So alcohol ink. Mix it, mix it, mix it. Yes, we need those are your cups. They are beautiful. Not because I made them, but they are beautiful. Okay, so this is mixed already. We're gonna put it on the side because we're gonna add it later. No ice praise base, the, uh, the cup you mean? Run the ice praise uh, uh, base coat in my cup like I usually do. Okay, so I'm going to start putting my epoxy on my cup. Yeah, I base coat my cup white. I prepped it, I base coat it white, so the alcohol ink would work better, you know, when you do alcohol ink, you know, it's better to use white, of course. Uh, not a calling wood grain. I'm sorry. It's like the wood grain. Look how beautiful that color looks under a pot. See? I'm going to see if I could save my octopus this time. I drowned him yesterday. But it's okay. He looks cute there, like hanging in there. I did such a horrible job spray painting this cup because it was so cold outside. <laughs> I run like, oh my God, it's freezing. Doesn't this color look nice on the epoxy? I love it. Okay. I'm going to pop my bubbles. Make sure I don't have any bubbles up here. Or down here. Down here I don't worry about it because I'm gonna add the inks. And then when we use the heat gun, it will pop out those bubbles. But up here, I don't want bubbles. Okay, that should be good. No, I'm not adding glitter. This, this is just the way I'm gonna do it tonight. I love glitter. I have to put glitter on everything, but no. The three colors I'm gonna use is gonna be Baja Blue. It's very similar to Sailboat, but when you mix them together, it's beautiful. And I believe this is mermaid something, because my inks are in bad shape. I can see what color this is. I'm, I'm thinking it's... No, this is Siren Mermaid. Yeah, Murmur. Mermaid. So we're going to start dropping our inks. 
Guys, I'm not saying this is the right way to do it. This is the way I did it. So, and you all like it. So, it couldn't be that bad if you guys like it. Now, Baja Blue and Selbo are similar when you put them on. I only use three color ink. Don't forget the bottom. This one here is Baja Blue. Then we're gonna add this one here. It's This is like a richer color blue, like, I love this color. Actually, it's my favorite of the ink, the sailboat. Oops, too much. Fell up in there. And then, oh my God, I told you I have to wear gloves. Okay, too late. So I'm gonna add mermaid now. And this is teal color. You add as much as you like. I'm gonna try to stay like in the bottom. I guess this is gonna kind of help me because of the shape of the cup. I'm getting fish eyes right there because it doesn't want to grab, but I'm guessing once we put the, and the reason I like to put the tail on the top is because it looks like it has mildew, like the bottom of the ship. I don't know if you get my meaning, I'm kind of screwed up. And then you keep adding the colors you like. I'm going to add another, a, a little bit more of the blue. It doesn't look pretty, but it will look pretty. So when you add the teal there and it mixes with the wood grain, it looks like uh, it has mildew. And I kind of like that. So I try to do the same thing over here. Oops. more here don't forget the bottom because they are really important too and then you add the ink as you like I'm gonna add I think I'm gonna add a little bit of mermaid more mermaid then when they mix it will look beautiful this little spot does not want to work but will make it work i love this blue i love this blue but my favorite color is blue so it's not surprising Okay, now we are going to do the white, and I did not bring a popsicle stick. So let me see if I could do it with this. We're gonna put the white over here, because that's why you want the white. So I'm gonna put a lot of white over here. This is, that's my, it's repeating right there for some odd reason. I'm gonna add a little bit of white here. Doesn't have to be perfect guys, so. I'm making a hell of a mess here. Oops. 
Okay, so instead of the heat gun, this is what I use for my weight. So you're gonna use your blower and you're gonna blow it up. Blow it up, 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 up. It's always gonna move to the side, of course, because you know we're using the turner. But if you use your blower, you push it. If you use a heat gun, it's gonna melt it away. And yeah, you want it to melt it a little bit. The Marco, but you want that wave look on the top. And I wish I had my attachment. I don't know what to do with my attachment. I couldn't find it yesterday either. Mm -hmm. We're gonna cover a little bit. So the edge. Yeah, I called you. What did I call you for? Oh, shit. I don't know. you talk about this? Huh? Can you make me do everything at once so I don't have to get up both times? I forgot. Let me think what I, what I said, what I wanted. Okay. Sorry. Let me think about it. Let me, oh, I got to go. I spilled it. God damn it. Oops, I said about it. Sorry. It's not about work for me, guys. I kind of screwed up because I I dropped the epoxy. Tito, go home, wipe it, and clean that up for me. So I'm gonna use my heat gun for here because I want the inks to move. I don't know how to open this better. And I'm gonna go up too, in the up, going up. It's gonna drip, so don't worry about it. But we're going up. And I didn't want it to melt on the top. And here is where you play with your inks. And I spill all my Y epoxy. So I'm gonna do it again. Give me a straw, Bobby. Straw? Yep. Who do you need a straw for? A straw. Where? Jamarco, in the drawer, Bobby. I messed up What's my drawer. What are you talking about? Freaking octopus again, guys. I'm telling you, it's because I'm doing a freaking tutorial. And I spill all my epoxy here. This? What? Yeah. It, it I am very upset right now because I spill all the epoxy. What do you want me to do with this? Give it to me, Marco. And I cover my octopus again. Dude! Don't get a poxy on it. Huh? Don't get a poxy on it. You can't use it anymore. Who cares? You? I'm gonna have to mix a little more. Is that, that white? I cover my... And I use my, huh? That's the wipe you asked for. Look, I got a hair too. How nice. I'm gonna have to mix epoxy because my, um, I spill all my epoxy, guys. And I cover my octopus again. No, the octopus can go last because you want it, you want it to, um, to keep like it's hiding, you know, like it's under the water, but I, I'm supposed to use more white and I spilled it all. I 
I drown my octopus again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix a little bit more epoxy. And when this one settles a little bit, see, I'm getting a, we're going to fix this shit right now because I am pissed off. I'm going to wait till my epoxy hardens a little bit. And I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna add more white. I'm gonna mix white and I'm gonna add more white. I mean, I didn't cover the whole freaking thing, but I want more white on it. I can't do that, but it's gonna be too watery, isn't it? Oops. I got the wrong thing. Let's try. What the hell? We we'll use white ink. But I made my waist. I made my way with the epoxy, and that's what I wanted to do for you guys. I'm telling you, when I do tutorial, I fuck it up. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make the way with the alcohol ink. But blow what guys, the key to this is blowing. The key to this is to keep blowing. And the reason I say the key to this is to keep blowing is because when you blow, the color uh, mixes and I want it. I really wanted the epoxy way, but since the epoxy way didn't work, we're doing the ink way. And we are going to use a little bit of heat to move the white in the bottom. Like I said, I use the epoxy. I don't use the ink for my wave. But I guess it works. I don't want to put heat on the top, though. And it will move. Eventually these two white spots will move. I don't want to touch the top. I just want to spread this ink right here. The thing is that the one on the top moves too, so. We're gonna move it the other way.
Hey, Mama. Hey, Bubby. If you want to have a success, do not eat a lot of it. Don't use a lot of it. And just let her turn and turn and turn and see what the hell happens. Okay, I spilled all my epoxy. I made a mess from hell. I drowned my... Octopus again. And let's see what happened. I'm telling you every time I do a tutorial, everything goes wrong. I don't know. Like. Even a hair got into my cup. That's incredible. And like I said, I like, uh, <laughs> I know, but you're not supposed to see the octopus. The octopus is coming out of the water, going on the ship. You're not supposed to look and see the entire octopus. That's why you don't put it on, uh, on top of the epoxy. You put it under. So that's the idea, to drown it. Not that much. But you can see it more, more than the other one. mess. I hate when I do tutorials, everything comes out wrong. Like, dude, I do this with all my love for you guys. And like, I made that cup last night. <laughs> ah, listen. The octopus is there, okay? I told you it's there. You could see that it's there. He's supposed to be under the water, climbing on the frigging, um, whatever this shit is called. <laughs> oh my God, I spilled all my epoxy. Thank you, Cherie. Hey, you guys made me laugh. I am a disaster. I am so sorry, guys. I am a total disaster. Now I'm going to have my turner stuck to the freaking... <laughs> my husband has to love me because I am a mess. A mess. Like, a mess. Look. It does look like wave, okay? Oh my God, can you imagine? Cheers, I need a drink. Oh, let me blow this little piece here. I said blowing is the key to make the wave. If you don't know how to blow, you're not gonna make it. I'm telling you. 
Thank you, Misty. You guys have dirty mind. <laughs> I'm talking about blowing the ink. Jesus. I can't even think straight. Okay, I got a little problem here and there, but it's working. <laughs> I mean, blowing is the key to get the way that you want. Jeez, why are you guys so bad? I don't know what to do with you guys, really. Like, like I don't know. I I have a mess from hell in this. I don't even want to show you guys because I have a mess, a mess, a mess. I'm picking up whatever I drop to make different designs. Or sh okay, the cup came out next. Nice. That's it. That's all I care. I'm gonna cover this white spots. I don't like them. I don't like them. <laughs> oh my god oh my god you guys are terrible i can't be nice i can't be nice because you guys are terrible they're gonna close my youtube channel thanks to you guys ah we have fun i'm getting the bubbles in the bottom i hate when that happens it's happening with hogs lately. Do you guys have that problem? Blowing. It's not moving the inks. If you want waves, you gotta blow. If you don't blow, you don't get it right. I mean, I, like I said, I usually mix the epoxy with the ink so it looks more like even when you do it with the ink directly, it looks like, eh, I don't know. It doesn't look bad though. So whoever, I, who said, somebody told me to put the ink straight. I don't stop until I'm happy. And I lost my straw, so I can't even blow now. Oh, here it is. Because you don't really want the ink to uh, swirl, per se. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. No more. So honestly, guys, does it look okay? I think it looks okay. The one I did yesterday looks prettier. Oh, I got bowls on the top. I don't know where they came out from. That's an old straw. I use it. I use it when I'm doing cups like 
like the beach cup and stuff. It's okay, I don't use that straw for nothing else. This is my, this is my blowing straw. <laughs> when I, I made the beach cups, this is what I use. So this is a one that I use. Okay guys, so what do you think? A lot of hiccups in this tutorial, but it looks like it's supposed to look though. Done it? I draw my um, octopus, but you still can see him. <laughs> I'm not showing you. I already, I teach you already how to blow. If you didn't learn, that's your problem. That's it. No more free classes. I'm cleaning my mess now. <laughs> oh my God. Now everything is going to be stuck together. You guys like it? I think it, after all the hiccups I went through with this stupid cup, I think it came out nice. I'm telling you, I had the hardest time doing today the tutorial. Nothing worked. Nothing worked. I got epoxy on my inks. I got epoxy. So. <laughs> Hi, Sandra. Oh my God. Too much info, Sandra. Too much info. <coughs> Thank you, Sandra. This is my second one, okay? So don't, don't expect a lot from me. You know, you guys wanted to see it, and I just, you ask, and I make it. If I don't know how to make it, and it comes out messed up, you guys don't judge me. That's why I do the tutorials, because you guys don't judge me. If you guys judge me, I wouldn't go online and show you anything. But doesn't it work like that all the time? Like when I'm making cups, I could make five cups in one day. Well, I have five turners now, so I can. And I have no problem. I gotta do a tutorial and everything happens. Everything. Are you guys having problem with the with the hugs in the bottom, the bubbles keep coming out. And I keep popping them and they keep coming out. I keep popping them, they keep coming out. Or is my luck? Maybe it's my luck. Yeah, I keep popping the freaking bubbles and they keep coming out. And I haven't heard anybody in the group complaining about it. So maybe it's just me. It happens to you with the hot cups? I'm sure at one point my hair got epoxy. That happened to you, Jamie? <laughs> yeah. I know it's air between the seal, but why? Like, this is my third cup that I have problem with.
Well, I never had that problem before. And lately, like three cups, I had that problem. Anyway, ladies, since you guys have no more questions, or no question, <laughs> no, you empty it. You and the, you were the one drinking it. And with the dirty mind. <laughs> yeah, that could be it. Anyway, ladies, um, thank you for joining me tonight. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up. Like I said, this is my second cup. <laughs> yes, Lenore, blowing is the key. This is my second cup of this one that I made, so, you know, it is what it is. You guys wanted a tutorial on that, so I did it. I'm not saying it's the right way to do it. This is the way I did it last night, and this is the way I did it now, and this is what happened. All the mess. So, I love you all. Thank you for sharing your Friday night with me. Uh, don't forget the stroker giveaway. Still going on until the 24th um, with $20 purchase, you enter to the drawing and, um, and that's it, you know, I'll see you guys soon. I love you all. Thank you for being part of the group. Um, have a good night and have a good weekend. Bye-bye.